Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we've got another Sew the Trends video. Now today's going to be a little bit different because last Sew the Trends video I did matching sets and I showed you my interpretation of that. Today, um, I mean I am making a top, uh, we're talking about square necks. <laughs> That's the trend we're talking about today. And while I did make one, you guys have already seen it, it's the Glenelli by Itch to Stitch. Um, and it's going to be coming in again on Friday's video a little bit. I'm not going to really... I mean, I'll pop a picture of what I, of what my top that I'm using for my square neck and my summer capsule looks like. Um, but I'm really going to be sharing with you 10 patterns that I have found that I think would meet, um, be great for sewing up for the, for that trend, for the square neck trend. I also have a few inspiration posts from a few different, um, clothing websites that I will put up as I'm talking about it as well, just so you can kind of see what's out there in the ready to wear. I mean, I like to do that, look through things in ready to wear shops that I would normally look at in order to determine and that yeah that is something I would like to interpret and what's even better is that you don't have to literally interpret things um, online you know we can make it work for ourselves but we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second okay so <laughs> um, let's see my family and I we just got back from northern Michigan yesterday we went last week from Wednesday through Sunday for just the four of us for a little getaway we love northern Michigan we go to the um, Leelanau uh, County area, which is, um, oh, well, we stay in Glen Arbor, which is our favorite little village, but there is Leland that we just discovered. We had not, never been to Leland before, even though we've been to that area quite a few times because uh, we've camped at the um, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore a couple of times. Uh, and then we've also gone with family and stayed up there, um, both with my side of the family and my husband's side of the family um, for little vacations. We just really love it up there. Um, Frankfurt and Empire and uh, yeah we just love that whole little area uh, get Lake Michigan but then there's also a ton of lakes and little creeks and stuff that are up there as well so we did some kayaking it rained which was unfortunate but it was just the four of us so it was nice to get away um, I got some new earrings it's a very um, art inspired area there's a lot of artists um, Ceram I mean, all kinds of art. So a lot of art galleries and stuff like that in that area. It's so cute, so cute. We were completely blown away by Leland. Um, it was our first time to find that little uh, old fishing village, and it's, they still uh, fish up there, but it, it was adorable. The historic fish town is so cute. Um, but I got some, look at these earrings I got. They're orange. Anyway, my daughter picked out a pair of earrings, and uh, yeah, we did. I got a really cute um, sewing machine clock that we walked into one of the shops, and it had a whole bunch of, like, ceramic clocks that um, some, I mean, obviously someone had made in a whole bunch of different shapes, and one was a sewing machine with little scissors as the pendulum, and actually my clock that's here in my sewing room died a long time ago, and it's just been... <laughs> still up on the wall, but, um, not, uh, and it's one I got from Target. Sorry, dry eye. Um, that is just, it like fell off the wall at one point. So it's got a big dent in it. Anyway, I needed a new clock. So, um, yeah, very exciting. So anyway, we just got back and, uh, yeah, back to it, back to the old grind. My sister and her kids are coming today. <laughs> So I'm gonna have a full house for a couple of days, but you know, my kids are excited to see their cousins. I'm excited to have my sister in my space and, uh, yeah be doing a little bit of work while they're here, but hopefully nothing too much. Okay, so the summer wardrobe. I have been wearing it. The, I'm not completely finished with all of my pieces yet. Um, I'm Hopefully I'll be showing you more and more as I uh, get through. I'm still waiting on some fabric that I think should arrive today because I had put the mail on hold, obviously, while we were gone, and it's being, um, the accumulated mail is being delivered today, and I think I've got my the rest of my Minerva fabric in that today. Um, I received, because I received one package the day before we left, and uh, Minerva often does that. If you've ordered a large or order, they'll split it up into multiple packages to help you avoid having to pay custom fees um, because they weigh less. So, <laughs> smaller packages. So anyway, um, yeah, one package arrived right before we left on Tuesday. I was able to get a couple of tops made out of it, and I'm assuming the other one probably would have arrived on Wednesday, but I had stopped the mail for Wednesday. So, Hopefully that arrives today so I can finish the last couple of pieces. I really don't have much left to do, um, which is exciting. So then it's just all me showing you. Uh, but yeah, I've been wearing it a ton and having a really good time doing that. So let's talk about square necklines. So this is, um, you know, 
obviously the Everyday Style podcast that I have been, or the Everyday Style Schools podcast that I've been listening to, and then I have bought the summer capsule from the Everyday, your Everyday Style dot com. Um, you know, I've talked about that a lot. I'll leave a link if you want more information on what that is. I'll leave a link to that to their website down below. I've paid for everything. Like I've not gotten anything for free. This is all stuff that I have paid with my own money. <laughs> but um, one of the things, let's see, Jennifer, who runs the Everyday Style School pad podcast, did a um, podcast. Oh, I don't know, somewhat recently on top summer trends. And one of them was matching sets, but another one was square necklines, which she had mentioned is a little weird to have like a neckline be a, a trend, but we haven't seen square necklines much um, until recently now. Um, and that's included in patterns, like sewing patterns. Now you can find a lot more now than you have been able to find, but um, yeah, it's just a different neckline that doesn't show up as often as your others, you know, your scoop, um, boat neckline, higher necklines, V necklines, uh, those just show up, I feel like, a little bit more frequently. Anyway, I think square necklines are gorgeous. Um, they're, especially the ones that are kind of like a scoop, but are softer a little bit. So they're square, but a softer square, so they kind of read as a scoop, but they're different, so it kind of adds a little, um, interest, I guess, that, of uh, things that we haven't been seeing really in fashion as much recently. So, love a good square neckline. <laughs> I think that it's a fabulous feature and something very different. So, hopefully I've been starting to show you some images. I uh, went on to, um, oh gosh, quite a few. I went to J. Crew. I looked at Bowdoin, Madewell, Everlane. Then I went over to like Chico's and Talbot's and Soft Surroundings and J. Jill. Um, who else did I look at? Quite a few different. Um, and as always, if any of these inspiration pictures look interesting to you, I have a link to my Pinterest board down below and you can go to the original source on all of those if you're actually interested in the ready to wear top that I'm popping up here. So keep that in mind. <laughs> that's always an option. So that's really what I love. I think that square necklines can look good on everyone. They just kind of frame the, the face. And my favorite square necklines are the ones that are squared, but they kind of come in a little bit at the neckline. I just feel like that, if you know what I mean. So I mean, the ones that are a little bit wider are nice too, but I feel like those um, might be a little bit more body type specific. You know, if you've got, you know, wider shoulder, I mean, I don't know, think of the different body, but yeah, you may not want, if you don't normally like a wider neckline on yourself, you may not like the regular square neckline. It's kind of what I'm saying. But <laughs> I think the ones like the Wanted Tea, and we'll talk about that in a minute, or the Glenelli, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but the ones that, that cut across and then instead of going straight back where they kind of angle back in a little bit towards your neck, they almost give that halter effect. I really like a halter style on me. I think it's a very flattering neckline on me, but I hate wearing anything other than like swimsuits, obviously, that wear bras and doesn't matter, but I hate wearing, I mean, I just won't wear like a halter top or a halter dress because I just, I just have not, never found, and I've tried so many strapless bras, I just don't find them comfortable. My boobs are too heavy for a strapless bra. I don't know. I just have never found one that doesn't squeeze me to death and in order to support my boobs and then just gives me all sorts of back fat and weird side fat and underarm fat that pokes up everywhere because I'm being squeezed to death by the strapless bra in order to keep it from sliding down. <laughs> so anyway, I don't do a lot of halters, in other words, or any dresses and that kind of thing, but I do like that neckline on me. So I think that this type of neckline mimics that, where it kind of comes in without um, being a literal halter top, basically what I'm saying. Um, anyway, I find it very flattering on larger chests because it's something that's different than like a scoop or a V. You know, it shows some chest. You can get them that come various heights even if you don't want it super low. I mean, some square knuck lines can get super low. In fact, again, we'll talk about the one to T in a minute. But um, yeah, I mean, if you get one that, you know, stops above the cleavage mark and it just gives a nice expansive chest. So if you've got a shorter neck like I do or a large bust where you want to break things up, I just think it's, um, yeah, beautiful. It draws the eye up. Um, big fan of that. So I have pulled 10 patterns, um, or 11 actually, 11 patterns that um, I think that if you wanted to interpret a square neckline for yourself is perfect. Now, one of the things that I have noticed that's gone kind of hand in hand with um, square necklines is shearing. So shearing, I say that wrong. I get corrected on that, shearing, um, which is the el elastic thread that gets gathered up 
which I think is great, and that's actually another big trend for summer, um, and that can be interpreted in a whole bunch of different ways. So I do have one pattern that incorporates that because I did see quite a bit of that in um, especially the younger, like, ready-to-wear type stores. Um, but if that's not your thing, there's a million different ways that you can reinterpret a square neckline you know, I mean, it's just a neckline, so it can kind of go on any top. Um, and that's also something fun. You know, if you have a t-shirt that you love, just redraft a nice square neckline. And well, again, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go in. Um, but that, again, the beauty of sewing is that you can take something like this, like a square neckline trend, but you don't have to interpret it literally to what you're seeing and ready to wear. You can make it on something that, you know, that you do like on your own self, um, whether that be a woven top, a knit top, you know, sky's the limit. Okay, so the first pattern that I've picked, and you guys have all seen this, is the Glenelli Top and Dress by Itch to Stitch Patterns. This is her newest pattern that just came out. I was one of the testers. I'll actually pop a picture of me in it um, because, yeah, this is going into my capsule. I made it this color so that it could easily go into my capsule uh, because a you know, square neckline top was something I wanted, um, a knit top specifically. So... <laughs> Uh, so this is going in as um, not only a square neck top, but also a beyond basic neck top. And we're going to be talking about those on Friday. So definitely come back if you want to hear more about that. I love this pattern. Um, this is one that, that squares and then kind of goes back towards your neck. I find it extremely flattering. And um, it's not so rigid. Like this is a squared neckline, but it has a little, it's a softer square, if that makes sense. Like the edges aren't quite as... 90 degree angle. They're just a little bit um, less severe of an angle and I think it's just beautiful. This is a raglan style t-shirt. It comes um, as a t-shirt or a dress. She has full bust options for you and I have my um, computer here just so I can give you more information on sizing. But this comes in, let's see, bust sizes and again there's a standard bust front or a full bust front so the very smallest which would be just the regular bust front for a double zero is 31 and an eighth inch um, bust with a 33 and an eighth inch hip up to a 63 inch bust and a 62 inch hip so um, she's got a really nice size range in there um, so yeah it's a, and I've seen this on a, a ton of different body types it looks good. It just looks, it's just such a pretty neckline. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this square neckline trend, clearly. Okay. Um, also, I have all the patterns linked down below that I'm talking about. And I think Itch to Stitch is the only one that I have affiliates with. But I have, I do list when a link is affiliate, just so to be transparent. And that just means I get a commission from the pattern maker um, when you buy a, something from that link, when you buy a pattern from that link. So... That's all that means. Um, no extra cost to you, but I do I do get a commission from those. Uh, but the second one is another itch to stitch pattern, and this has been in her catalog for a little bit, and it's the Chiripo top. Um, this is actually a pattern for wovens, like a, a beautiful rayon. Um, it comes with this um, kind of a flutter sleeve that you can put onto it, or you can make it sleeveless. I think that this would be equally beautiful in a knit, though. Because it's meant for drapey fabric, you could probably get away with um, doing kind of a drapier knit, like a rayon or a viscose jersey or a tinsel jersey, and it get a really beautiful shape as well. Or you could just go ahead and make it in like a, a silk or um, a rayon, like a chalet, or, you know, just something with a lot of drape. Um, anyway, I think that this, this top is absolutely beautiful. This one comes in, it's made for wovens, so it comes with her regular um, A through double D cups. And the size chart on this, now this is in her old size range, it's an older, older pattern, so it's not in her uh, double zero up to size 40 size range, unfortunately. But this goes from bust um, 30 and an N. 30 and an eighth inches up to 49 and a quarter inches bust with a hip 33 and an eighth up to 48 and a quarter. So again, this is her older size range. She is expanding, um, has an expanded size range now that she has gone into. But um, yeah, it does have a lot of ease though. So I would definitely, if you're interested and maybe you're a little outside that size range, look and see if um, what the finished measurements are that it, that might still work. Um, for your body, so. Okay, next up, this pattern is um, one of the ones with the square neckline and also inc incorporates shirring. <laughs> 
Um, and that is the um, Sophia Top and Dress by Victory Patterns. Now, I love this pattern because I own this. I've not made it yet because it comes with so many variations. She has a ton of different sleeve options. Um, you can make it as a dress. You can make it as a peplum. You can make it as a just like a crop top, which my daughter is interested in. But she's got like a really big um, flutter sleeve. She's got kind of a, a bishop sleeve. And then she has some sleeves that are, you know, like at like the elbow or mid arm um, that are just like a big poof sleeve. Uh, which wouldn't be great on my body, but the longer one or the flutter sleeves would look really nice. Uh, but this incorporates the square neckline with the shirring. So, um, I mean, shirring is so much fun. I have a dress from uh, Coco Wawa Crafts, actually, the, her raspberry dress that I made last summer and hacked it a little bit in order to recreate a, I think it was an Everlane dress, but love that thing. So that's going to be my addition to shirring shirring here um, in my summer wardrobe and I may I may delve into some more this summer we'll see I have the um, Love Notions Ballad Blouse which is one of their newer patterns that has some shirring um, you can either do gathering into the yoke or there's shirring that's there at the yoke as well that I may I have it printed out so I may make that one up um, this summer as well we'll just see <laughs> I really want to make this top up too there's just so much to make up and not enough time all right next up oh I just closed it Oh, darn it. Next up is the square neck top from Friday Pattern Company. Um, and I just closed it, so I can't even tell you. Okay, so this can be made in bust 32 inches up to bust 60 inches, and in hips 34 inches up to 63 inches. So that is a beautiful size range. Um, but I just think that this top is so gorgeous. So it's got like a little grown on sleeve. It has your square neck. Um, I don't think it's got, oh yeah, it does. It's got bust darts. Um, one of the versions does. Oh, that's interesting. So I wonder, oh, and you can, okay. So it's got, um, pattern pieces for a knit or a woven fabric. So if you're making it in a woven, it's got the bust darts. If you're making it in a knit, you can omit the, it's a different front and back that you can omit with the, with the bust darts. Well, that's cool. Anyway, I don't own this one, but it's very interesting and it really ticks all the boxes. That little grown on sleeve is just really cute as well and perfect for summer. So yeah, definitely have a look at that one. <laughs> all right, next up, this is one I have made. This is the Pattern Scout Fern Top. Now this top actually has like a um, scoop neckline, but you can buy the expansion pack, which does have a square neckline. I made this last spring and I used, um, I own both the regular, you have to own both to do the square neckline, but I bought the expansion for the square neckline and that's the version that I made up. And this one does come in cup sizes. I made mine in kind of a tomato red linen, beautiful. In fact, I just, I took it with me on vacation. Um, it's a, a wonderful pattern, it's easy to sew and it just sits really nice. It's a very flattering top, you know, it, it kind of creates a little bit of a waist, but it's not tight. Um, yeah, it's just a great, a great top and it's beautiful in linen. <laughs> But this one also has that great square neckline. It's a little bit, it doesn't come in like the Glenelli, for instance, but it's not a really wide neckline either. So, and it's a pretty high one. Um, it doesn't show any cleavage or anything like that. It's a, it's a good, a good pattern. All right, next one is the Helen's Closet. This is her newest pattern, the Reynolds Top and Dress. This is kind of a strappy um, sundress slash strappy tank top, but it's got nice thick straps that, oh wait, I didn't tell you the sizes on the Pattern Scout. Hold on, sorry, sorry. All right, so on this one, um, this goes from a bust 31 to 56 with a hip 35 to 60 inches. And again, this one does have the cup sizes. So um, that makes that, you know, really easy. Okay, the Reynolds top and dress, sorry. Helen's closet. Um, this one, it's just, yeah, again, it's just a very easy breezy. I bought her Ashton top. Um, my mom had seen a linen shell that she really liked and it was very similar to the Ashton and so we, I purchased that. It just has a regular uh, scoop neck. I think it's got a higher neck and a little bit lower scoop neck. Um, but it's just more of your, um, like a shell, you know, it's got like a really thick, you know, just a sleeveless top. This is more of a tank, so it's got, it's strappier, but it's got the really thick, um, straps, which helps to cover bra straps. So I am all in on this one. And a lot of times, let's see, yeah, her, um, 
sizes 0 to 22 come with a B cup. They're drafted with a B cup, but sizes 12 to 34 are drafted with a D cup. So there's an overlap there. Sizes 12 to 22, you can pick if you wanted the D cup or the B cup. But this goes from full bust of 31 inches to inches, inches, 62 inches, and then a hip of 33 inches to 62 inches. So, um, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I think a size 12 in the D cup size range would be perfect for me because it's a high bust of 36, full bust of 40, waist 30, hips 40. I mean, that's like perfect. Um, I don't own this one, but I might. <laughs> I mean, it's just such a good little summer pattern. And I've been very impressed with her drafting on those as well. All right, now we have some big four. Um, first up, this is Butterick 6766. This has a few different, it's a top, few different sleeve variations and a few different bottom, bottom variations. This one is a little bit of a wider square neckline, a little higher, but it's got this gorgeous tie that's around the waist. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's... It's beautiful. And this goes up to their size 22. I mean, we know how weird the sizing is, which is, okay, so this goes from a size 29 and a half inch bust to a 44 inch bust, and then a 31 and a half inch hip to a 46 inch hip. So not great size inclusive, but um, yeah, I did want to put a couple of big fours because I know that that's easier for some people to get. But yeah, this is another one that uh, the different hem options. I mean, this definitely, in fact, there was a, um, I think it was a soft surroundings maybe. Can't remember now. One of the blouses that I showed you it really reminded me of this pattern. And then next is Butterick 6774. This one is one of their wardrobe patterns. You get a whole bunch of different pieces. Um, oh, for the heaven's sake. Uh, a whole bunch of different pieces, but the one piece in particular that I was drawn to are the dress and the little tank, which actually is similar to that Reynolds top, the Helen's Closet Reynolds, but it's a sheath dress or just kind of a fitted um, tank shell. Uh, then it has like this little shirt jacket and a pair of shorts as well. This is the same, oh no, this one goes up to a 24. So this one goes up a little bit bigger. So this one goes up from a 29 and a half inch bust to a 46 inch bust and from a 31 and a half inch hip to a 48 inch hip. So, come on big four. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, expand those sizes. All right, and then um, the last of the big four um, I picked was McCall's 8202. Now there's actually, um, I just bought this one actually for my daughter. Um, it's got like a little ruffle you can put around the square neckline or not. Um, I like the little sleeveless version, as does my daughter. I think she would want it without the ruffle, but it's just like a really cute little top. And this one goes up to, uh, from an extra small to a double X, which I don't know what that, maybe is that the full size range then? So from a 29 and a half inch bust to a 48 inch bust and then a 31 and a half inch hip to a 50 inch hip. Um, but she loved this one and I picked this one. But if you go to McCall's, their spring and summer um, releases have a ton of different square necklines on there. A whole bunch of different tops. There's a jumpsuit on there with a square neckline. Um, yeah, there's just, there's quite a few different options there with the square neckline. So you can really interpret that, you know, however you would like. Um, okay. Now this is the second to last one. The Cashmereette, her Upton dress, which I own, unfortunately, um, I've gone out of the size range. I'm like right at a 10. I'm, I'm always like teetering um, on her regular size range, which was a size 12 to 32. Um, now she is expanding some of the sizes from a, I don't know if it's a zero or a double zero. I can't remember. Anyway, some of the newer patterns, and she is releasing some of the older ones, now goes from a um, zero, I think it's a zero, to a size 32. Um, the Upton is still in the original size range, but she has an expans expansion pack that she put out for the Upton. It's such a good fit and flare dress with a whole bunch of different skirt lengths. Anyway, one of the neckline options for the expansion pack on the Upton is a square neckline, and it's just beautiful. And I know that it's going to be gorgeous on curves because her drafting for curves is just, you know, uh, you can't even compare. <laughs> Like, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, she just does curves really, really well. I mean, that's her whole thing. I'm so glad that she's releasing patterns in um, bigger si the bigger size range now. It just makes me very, very happy. 
All right, and then pattern 11 that I wanted to talk about is the Vanessa Pousset Wanted Tee. This is a very small size range, and I don't even remember now. It's in French. Um, I have hair in my mouth. It's a small size range. I, and I, yeah, it's all in French, so <laughs> I have to, to sit down and really figure it out. But, and it's a very tight fitting shirt. So I, cause I feel like I had to make the largest size. Is that right? Maybe not the largest, but I definitely, I graded from a smaller size at the top to a fuller size in the body. Um, but it's a, it's a, again, a very small size range, but it does have a gorgeous neckline. And I know when I did t-shirt week back last spring, a few people bought the pattern. It's all in French. The instructions are all in French, but I do have a complete sew along for exactly how to sew that on the channel, and I'll link that video um, up here right now. But a couple people bought the pattern just for the neckline and then put it on a t-shirt pattern that they loved, which is an option, um, you know, if that's something you'd really like to do. But it is a gorgeous neckline. It kind of goes in. It's got a much bigger um, band on it than the... Um, Glenelli, for instance, from Itch to Stitch, but it's a it's a really gorgeous neckline. It is, again, it's a very tight fitting shirt. Uh, the sleeves are very tight fitting. Everything's very tight fitting about it. But you know, you could definitely swap the neckline, just trace that onto a t-shirt pattern you love, and then you know, voila, you've got yourself a beautiful neckline. I raised the neckline on that. A, oh no, I guess I just sewed a smaller top. Yeah. I made the small size up here and then graded out in the arm side to a larger size and that raised the neckline for me because it is, it's a little bit lower neckline. This is a little bit more cleavage-tastic. Um, but I have made it and I feel like this was one of the um, original like square neck t-shirts that was out on the market. <laughs> uh, and again, I do have a full sew along for it if you are interested in that. Okay, I know that I've only touched the iceberg on square neck tops, and there's so many other great ones that are out there. I just didn't have time to, like, cover all of them. Like I said, McCall's has a whole bunch that are new. Um, gosh, I didn't even go over and look at Seamwork. I'm sure they've got some square neck beautiful options as well. Um, I have a membership over there. I just haven't been over to look recently. But, um, yeah, there's, I'm sure so many different square neck tops. But again, it's all about interpretation. So finding a top style that you really love on your body and either adding a square neckline or being able to find one that is um, more up your alley than others. So I, yeah, this is a trend that can very easily go for like super young people like my daughter, all the way up to square necklines look great on my mom, you know, and that's wonderful. Uh, I like trends like that. They can very easily be translated from very young up to um, wiser, more mature people. <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. On Friday, I will be back with my Beyond Basic Tops that I have made for my summer capsule wardrobe. I'll talk a little bit more about what that means over there. And then Sunday, we have the last of the Monty Sew Along, the Style Arc Monty Sew Along. Um, okay, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.